How would you describe spirituality to people out there who who maybe are are the previous Lior? Maybe yeah. they're living they're the old sense. self and right. yeah, how do you describe um, this new version of you? So it's putting well-being, which is a different it's really well-being is not spirituality, but it does fall. It's a facet of, of it, course. right? Yeah. So it's putting the way your frequency feels, the way that you feel in your daily life, putting that above um, what society deems mm. to be like a good time, mm-hmm. you know, or fulfilling in that mm-hmm. sense. Um, it's living life intentionally, realizing that everything is connected, everything is meaningful, yeah. and that our actions matter. Everything matters, mm-hmm. right? So I thought that I could just live this way and then my relationship would be great. But how can your relationship be great when you're abusing yourself, not taking care of yourself, and in every aspect of your life, you're struggling? It's like spirituality comes in. It's like it's all connected. It all needs to have a synergetic you know, flow between things. Mm -hmm. When you take care of yourself, you're going to attract better relationships. When you attract better relationships, you're going to take better care of yourself. It's just that kind of living in that sense and realizing also that your life is meaningful, that you're here for a reason, that we're not just random, uh, like, that the big bang happened and we suddenly happened to be here, these intelligent organisms Mm -hmm. and all this beautiful creation. That's not a mistake. It's all meaningful. And that there is a divine loving energy that created all of it. And you can call it the universe. You can call it God, creator, divine intelligence, whatever, infinite intelligence, whatever you want to call it, but it's there. And it, loves us so much we are that energy we're sparks of it and yeah everything's meaningful makes life more and more beautiful right yeah I love your energy and the way you see things so much Um, do you feel like life is easier and things flow better when you're tapped into that totally of course the divine because exactly Mm -hmm. because you're not alone Mm -hmm you're still going to have challenges, still have problems, but you pray over it Mm -hmm. and you know that something is going to help you and that everything's going to be all right in the end. And it really always is. And we have anxieties and we have depression and that comes, but you see everything is meaningful and everything is divinely ordained. And when you find humans are meaning assigning creatures, we want things to mean something. Mm -hmm. So when we can accept that everything does mean something, then it just, you know, life becomes more enjoyable. I enjoy the lows even. Yeah. Like I find my lows really freaking beautiful. (laughs) Actually, I think I was telling you about that. Talk more about that that, because I think a lot of people (laughs) struggle with that. Yeah. But I also, like you, believe that we're here to experience everything, the highs and the lows, Mm -hmm. right? Duality. Yes. So all the full range of human Mm -hmm. emotions, we come from a place where everything's perfect, but perfect gets boring, right? We want to explore more of ourselves, more, uh, and physicality gives us that, that opportunity and physicality has chocolate and tacos, Mm -hmm. you know, (laughs) physicality has sunsets. So Mm -hmm. it's like, we want to be here. We want to feel all of it. And I was telling you before we were recording that I'm going through my own personal tower moment where Mm -hmm. everything is crumbling for me in a way. And I think that younger me would have been like, why me? Like, why is all this happening to me? And just like moping all the time. And Mm -hmm. that's okay too. Sometimes we do that. Right. But where I am, where I'm coming from now, it's like, I even in a weird way right now, talking about it, feel gratitude for everything I'm experiencing. Mm-hmm. It's so beautiful to get to experience these lows. Like wow. the last breakup I had, I was crying from joy because I'm like, oh my God, I have a heart. I feel my heart. Like it's like, yeah. it just shows you. Yeah. And I, that might seem so far out for somebody who's who maybe this is their first time even considering things like mm-hmm. this. But it's just remembering that you're this spiritual being having a spiritual experience in a human body, but it's all spiritual, right? And that it's all happening for us. Mm -hmm. That makes it so exciting. Mm -hmm. Like friendships falling apart. I have like love life is nowhere to be seen (laughs) and it's perfect. It's beautiful. Because from that nothingness, from that feeling, um, somebody posted this the other day. It was so beautiful. It's like as deep as you're, 
depths can go, you can rise from that, mm-hmm. right? So I can feel these really low lows and I know what's coming is these high. beautiful highs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. I hope more people can learn to understand that and yeah. tap into that side of them. I I think also in spirituality, it's like not being not identifying with your emotions. Like if you're sad, you aren't like, that's not your whole body. Yeah. Like you are just, you can observe Feeling your sad. emotions. You can right. feel it, but it's not everything that you are. Exactly. It doesn't identify exactly. you. It's not who you are. Yeah. 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 And emotions and thoughts, they're like clouds and they're there for a reason. And yeah. then they go, they float away. Like if you really think about it, our souls chose to live as a human yeah. body to experience all the whole range of emotions Everything. of human yes. beings. And that like, it's the range that's beautiful. Yeah. Like it's like a roller coaster ride. You're going to go on it because it has ups and downs exactly. and it goes around. And that's if you like roller coasters, yeah. which, which I do. <laughs> but it's, I, I'd rather life be exciting than it and, be just boring and the same and perfect every day. And have all that range of colors, exactly, right? Exactly. So I always see it as like we have this masterpiece that is our life. Mm-hmm. And if you have the same color over and over and over again, it's cute. I mean, I'll hang it up in my apartment. <laughs> but what's it exciting is the different colors, yeah, right? Yeah. All those different emotions. Like, oh my God, look at what I'm going to get to feel. Yeah. <laughs> I incarnated to feel these feelings. Exactly. 